I'm uh, Dewey Redmond, country boy from Texas, trying to make it in the big city. Music. The most elegant of travelers, living and living, spanning infinite reincarnations, pacifying agnostic and bias alike. Music. Master maker of the body, intimate with the soul, laying to shame all explanations. Music, true God of the universe. When I play music, the first thing I, I, I reach for is the sound. Everybody I liked, whether it was a vocalist or a drummer, a piano player, a trumpet player, violin, whoever, everybody I liked had one thing in common. Everybody I liked had a good sound. Dewey Redmond, he's a grand master of the invention of high quality melody. And so that puts him at the forefront of any group of players at any time. It's this really warm, beautiful, soft uh, sound and um, very deep sound that you know immediately who it is as soon as he starts to play. His sound, his whole presence, his whole spirit reaches out to you and, and captures you, you know, draws you in. And uh, he was always like, for me, someone I always aspired to, you know, um, to play with that kind of pureness and organic qualities as, a, as an improviser and storyteller. There's a story about Louis Armstrong, who I think was the greatest trumpet player. And um, some guys condescendingly asked Louis, um, hey man, can you read music? We never saw you read music. Can, can you read, Louis? I mean, that was the thing against black musicians a long time ago that they couldn't read music, but of course that's changed. So, Mr. Armstrong thought for a minute, then he said, yeah, I can read it, as long as it don't get in the way of my plan. <laughs> Beautiful answer, next question. As long as it don't get in the way of my plan. I was born in this house, May the 17th, 1931. And here is where I used to sit. Here's where I used to sit. And there was a, the place is still there remarkably. They used to have a, an old juke joint. And I would sit here on the lawn and it, it went almost every day and every night. I would sit here and listen just to the blues or whatever whatever was happening. But, but I, I became enchanted with music. And this is one of the biggest thrills of my life, to sit here on the lawn and listen to the music from this place here.
listen to it for hours. As you can see, there's, there's nobody there, you know. And so by the time I was about 12, decided I wanted to, to play music.